hi guys so welcome back to my channel today i'm doing something really exciting i found somewhere i want to go on holiday by myself so i'm gonna book it and i'm gonna go on holiday by myself <laughs> <laughs> i actually feel really sick at the thought of it but i was meant to be going on holiday next week anyway so i just thought you know what instead of being at home knowing that i should have been on holiday what i've realized is that you can't sit around waiting for people if that makes sense just because i know that some of my friends and family either can't afford it or can't get the time off it shouldn't stop me from doing what i want to do so i'm gonna go by myself and i'm actually petrified but i'm hoping if i vlog the experience it'll be a lot better i found somewhere to go on, hol on the holiday um i'm currently just confirming the payment i should get a text message through now to put a code in <laughs> Oh my god, I'm going on holiday by myself. <laughs> what an uncle this is. Processing payment. Oh my god, oh my god. It's just come up on my bank. <gasps> Congratulations, you're booked. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to Greece by myself. I am currently in the nail salon, just getting a pedicure, ready for the holiday. I'm going to let my nails have a break from acrylics until the end of the week, but... I'm currently getting my toes and I'm gonna get finished so, oh, I've just had her nails done. Very pretty. And my toes are currently getting done, but you're not seeing them. You need to pay for that. <laughs> so today for the holiday prep, I'm in Manchester and I'm gonna go get my hair done. So I don't even know if you can hear me, but I've just had my hair cut. I'm now just waiting for the cool, curl, the cool, the curls to cool down and then she's gonna style it. So Molly has just finished my hair and I'm absolutely in love. The one holiday. I'm single and not in a lesbian relationship. I'm not gonna get my nails done. What? Not gonna lie though, like the estate, like so many of my nails are cracked, it's not even on that hand. Can you see it? Like my last set of acrylics completely ruined my nails. So I thought maybe I should just give my hands a break. Even though I'd love to get my nails done for the holiday, so I think I'm just going to leave them and then when I come back off holiday, hopefully the cracks are a little bit better, sorted myself out and then I'll get my nails on for park life. And where am I going next month? Santorini. So yeah. I'm now about to wax. I've got a party tomorrow night so I need to be prepared for that. But um, oh, why am I so scared to wax? I'm used to waxing. Look at this state of the window, but Hallie thought that she'd watch. Look what the dogs have done, guys. Holiday prep pretty much done um my legs are shaved i'm nice and waxed in fact i'm like everything's gone um yeah still not getting my nails done they just need a break and hopefully this holiday i'll give them a break even though it would have been really nice to get my nails done i've literally just thrown all the stuff for the holiday on my mum's bed ready to pack so uh, obviously I go on my solo holiday tomorrow. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding even thinking about it. If you don't recognise this bedroom, um, it's because it's my mum's bedroom. She's currently getting it decorated, all these a bit off, um, painted, she's getting new wallpaper. She's already got her new wardrobe, so it's so beautiful. She's defo. Like when I've been doing my house, she was like, I need to get mine done. So yeah, I'm in my mum's room. I wish I could act like I wasn't nervous, but it's a scary feeling. Like I've never been on a plane by myself and I'm used to flying with people who don't like flying. So I'm not like, obviously they're always like, oh, can I hold your hand? And I'm always like, yeah, to like help them feel better. But the more I'm thinking about it, maybe I might actually miss having someone's hand to hold because my mum literally breaks my hand like she's petrified of flying so i've made sure i've booked my seats um i wasn't going to because i thought kate you're going by yourself usually people only book the seats if um obviously they want to sit next to someone so then you definitely sat together however i thought i'll have peace of mind knowing where i'm sat if that makes sense so on the way there i've booked right at the front like i'm literally right at the front i paid for extra leg room because i thought once i'm on i'm on and i'm next to the window and then on the way back, I think I'm like row six, um, 
where did I just put that bag? Oh yeah, I'm row six. So I put myself next to a window. So then in case I want to fall asleep, I can do and no one will be having to be like waking me up saying, excuse me. So yeah, I'm hoping if I'm next to the window, I can just rest my head on there and fall asleep. Who knows? Might fall in love with a Greek and move there forever. Who knows? Everything happens for a reason. Or I might not. You never know. I might come back with a man, might not. We'll have to wait and see. This bag is a right mix and match bag. So we've got a holiday throw over <laughs> my PJs. I've gone for blue PJs because I thought Greece, you know, going with the vibe. Um, and then manicures and socks. So I've just packed that. And I'm not going to lie, I wish I'd pack like this more often because it's really organising it. I love it. Let me show you. That makes me so happy. And all I've got left really is like all my toiletries and stuff. Then my nighttime clothes. And I've got so much room and I still obviously, because I'm flying with Jet 2, well you didn't know that, but I'm flying with Jet 2, I'll get my travel case, so I'm going to have loads of room. And then obviously I've got these for in case I go swimming and go underwater, so yeah. For my nighttime outfits, one of them is this cute two-piece that I got from Sheen. It comes with pants and I was thinking, I feel like it might be a bit chilly at night, so maybe longer stuff's going to be better. Obviously I'm going by myself, so I just feel like classy with like long dresses this one's from zara absolutely love it just nice plain and simple because i don't think i'm gonna be going to any nightclubs i mean unless i make friends whilst i'm over there um but it could be nice obviously if i make friends go out with them not even nightclubs just going to a few bars and stuff i just thought these outfits will be really nice nice material really thin this has got a split in the leg but yeah I hope I do make friends. I'm a chatty person, so I should. Fingers crossed. And if not, whack my AirPods in and read a book and relax and chill. I'm also going to pack this short on top set. It's really short, so most probably won't wear it, but just in case. Right, Jet 2 app. Because I need to see if I need a towel. I've also got my hair dryer because hotel ones just never seem to hit the same um dry shampoo let's put it in one of these bags so it doesn't explode no someone who that happened to and it ruined an expensive belt um oh no wait that was hairspray but still with like mousse and dry shampoo i don't want it going everywhere body wash then i need some sun creams in this well my oil i need after sun that's it right i'm just looking on jet two and it says there's four outdoor pools um oh there's an indoor pool outdoor fresh water pool with whirlpool some bearing area with some beds and parasols towels what does that towels with the little star mean <laughs> does it come with towels does the little star mean it come with towels <laughs> shit i bought a towel in mykonos so i think i'm just gonna have to take that towel in case because um if I get there and there's no towels, I'm fucked. Nearly forgot these. Flannel, scrunchie and a wet hair comb. <sighs> I get bored. I pack in. So I need to do something in between. I'm pretty sure I'm Kaylee. I was just about to say I'm fully packed. I've got no fucking shoes. <laughs> so it's currently 25 minutes past eight. Um, it's Sunday, obviously. I go tomorrow. And... Oh my gosh, my emotions were all over the place. I've been like proper giddy and then I've been really nervous. And now I'm just feeling a bit like, oh, right. Okay, I'm getting a bit emotional. Um, Which, some of you, it might sound stupid, but obviously like, this is a big thing. Going away by myself. Um, I need to do it for me though. And I know, I, I know it's gonna help and it's gonna be the best thing I most will ever do but I'm gonna go on a drive to calm my nerves and I'm gonna go to the house, do some things at the house and hopefully I'll be fine, fingers crossed. I shouldn't have gone to sleep for an hour because it's not being proper sleep. And I just wanna go back to bed. I'm fucking shattered. Okay, I'm out of bed. I'm like dressed, fresh white hair falls on. Bag's pretty much packed, got Mamma Mia songs playing. Oh. And I'm only going for 
five days. Is my suit in it? Is it supposed to be if I were going for two weeks? I'm quickly eating a banana and please ignore how bad the lighting is. I've got myself a Red Bull. It's starting to get busy. And then um, getting nervous. Of course, I had to get stopped. Um, so I've just confused security. And I don't actually get what it was that I got stopped for. Because there was nothing wrong. For once in my life, I actually put all my liquids in my bag. I just forgot to take my portable charger out. But um, not even just that. They got my tripod thing and they said, what's this, madam? It's like, that's a tripod. Don't worry, it's not a weapon. I got poached eggs and avocado on toast. Did not like it at all. And I'm just sat with a glass of wine. <laughs> it says gate closing. I've been to get a Starbucks, been shopping, spoke to the uh, lady, she was lovely. And now I'm having to rush. Guys, this flight is a my flight. <laughs> when I got on, my Starbucks cracked. Didn't realise it leaked all over me. Um, just bought myself a Bailey's. Didn't put the little try on properly, and it spilled all over the floor and on my leg and on my new white air force. But thankfully, they give me a new one. Very grateful, so thank you. Also, if the clouds would like to piss off, because apparently we'll be able to see Santorini if there's no clouds. Um, that would be very much appreciated. What the fuck? We're already through. That was quick. Like, literally got off the plane two minutes ago. I'm just gonna like, sit there actually. Oh, and I'll just wait for the cases. Oh, that flight. <laughs> I think I spilled everything I could. I'm so clumsy. I think clumsy is an understatement. Are we here? On my first job off. <laughs> I think we're like two minutes away. Yeah, this is it. This place is so pretty, but oh my god, my anxiety is kicked in. So because the weather is shit, like it's, it's shit, I decided to get my jeans stuff on um, and go for a run. Why men or people in general think it's right? to keep driving past me and shouting stuff at me then parking up and then when I turned around following me back and then watching where I'm going it's not all like I was so proud of myself for going out and it has knocked me back a bit but I'm not going to let it stop me obviously like I've got no one here to like be with and just reassure me but and I'll be fine. And it's just the shock of it. Because it was really scary. I keep forgetting to record for YouTube, but guys, I went out for a meal by myself. It was fine. Came to see the sunset. Totally fine. And yeah, I can't believe it. Like, that I've actually done it. I'm so proud of myself. I miss breakfast. Ticket. You are So it's obviously my first proper day. Um, Here's my dinner. I've got, let me show you. I've got a chicken skewer, cheese, salad, pork, like a gyros kind of thing that I've got to put together. And yeah, this is the buffet. So I'm on my third day. It's like my second full day. Keep getting myself cocktails and white wine and lemonade. And oh my gosh, the sun is shining. It is so good. So this is where I am sunbathing. I've taken that spot. It's absolutely stunning. Put my drink down. I've actually come out for a meal tonight. Like, come out 
like out of like out of the hotel. Um, Starter wasn't the biggest fan, but I've got this. I'll send the phone up for a bit. So I ordered a chicken is it gyros? Gyros. Move that. Um, and it didn't come back. So what I keep doing is like dipping the chicken and then mm -hmm, getting some onion. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. It is my last day in absolute paradise. I really don't want to go home, but guys, look at that tan line. Who is that? This is a girl who never used to tan. I just don't want to go home at all. I absolutely love how cool it is for the airport. Being able to see and hear the planes. I don't want to go home. I really don't. It's my last night. I'm walking to the shop of the road to get some fat lemon and some lays. I'm hoping they've got ketchup. Ketchup is the best flavour. The most know it's my last night. They're playing Mamma Mia. I fucking love it. Like, is this not just the biggest vibe ever? So, I don't know which shop to go to. I got this one up here. There's one right there. Do you see it? It says supermarket. Um, here's the outside of the hotel. It's nice knowing I can record this because I'll be on when I post this. But yeah, this is where I'm going. I just tried opening that door, but it wouldn't open. I'm hoping there's an entrance round here, maybe. I think they are. It's shut. <coughs> Typical. Don't know why. Like, it's got loads in it. Why is it shut? I am. Um, Gutted, so let's go to another supermarket. I'm hoping they have shot glasses as well. Because every holiday I go on now, I get a shot glass. I have never seen them in my life, and I'm really tempted. No, we'll try somewhere else. They've not got ketchup. I'm being really strict on the fact that I only want ketchup. <laughs> I don't want to go home. <laughs> Honestly, this view, everything has just been perfect. The sun is slowly but surely going down. Like you can just see it getting lower and lower. My last night having a meal alone until I move into my new place and I'm gonna be eating alone all the time. This hotel is literally something else. This is really depressing. I look horrendous. But um, just checked in and now going for security. <laughs> I swear to God, I've never been touched up more in my life <laughs> than going through the airport. It's gone off on me on the way there. I'm not on the way here and on the way back. I'm having to fill me up. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? I have never seen that. Um, <gasps> oh. oh, I'm going to have to get the espresso one and the chocolate one. Guys, look how weird this looks. There's an island there. And then... I'm home, so yesterday when I got back it was a case of quickly get ready because I had my cousin's party. But yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed my holiday vlog. Thank you all so much for watching, for the support and the love. I love you all and I'll see you next video.